The Ghana Health Service says there is no disease outbreak yet, though it's on alert for cholera, diarrhea-related diseases, and malaria. The spillage of two dams has raised concerns about disease outbreaks in displaced persons due to contact with contaminated water. According to health authorities, there is need for additional logistics deployment in the area as it focuses on preventive service approach. More logistics will be needed. I'm just coming from Papa, even though they are all well, there's an urgent effort to just do a medical screening for them to ensure that they are all okay. I mean, those who are hypertensive, we, are, we give them medication. I'm not waiting for a situation where we call it imminent health danger. I believe that the systems are working and we'll continue strengthening it until such time that this whole crisis will be over. For now, we are not seeing anything significant apart from a few places where there were a few snake bites which had been resolved because of the congestion and the possibility of contamination of water and the spreading of diseases. That's why we have brought them all this infection prevention system. He emphasized that despite the lesser impact on other areas compared to the districts in the Volta region, all affected persons would be attended to. Three of the districts in Eastern and three districts in Greater Accra, they are the community. What has not affected directly uh, uh, moved them out of their community, but we are disinfecting the community and the area they live, giving them opportunity to be able to wash their hands more often, advising them not to go near the water or walk through the water or take uh, that type of water for you. So, and we believe that if we continue this way, we should be able to avert the catastrophe. Over 26,000 people have been displaced in the Volta, Eastern and Greater Accra regions.